Oracle Arena for all nations, enlightening your eyes and enlightening your heart by his word for his kingdom. Oh Lord my God, when I am awesome wonder, consider all the words that he has made, and I see the stir, and I hear the rolling thunder. Hello, great friends. God bless you. You're watching Miracle Arena for All Nation. And Prophet Kofi Danso is my name. Today, in this service, I'm going to trust God for you. I want to take you to our live service where God gave me a message and I entitled it, You Can Change the Results. It doesn't matter what your now is. Your tomorrow can always change. Your now may be late, but your tomorrow is never late. I want to encourage you. You could be born broke, but you may not grow broke. You could be born poor, but you may not grow poor. Jesus was born in a manger, but he didn't remain in the manger. There is a place God is certain for you. Come with me, regardless of the names people have called you, the names you believed yourself to have, the names you've called upon yourself. The devil can give up on you. People will give up on you, but God will not give up on you. Enjoy the service. I'm going to come right back and pray for you. In this service, somebody who has been bleeding for 25 years just got healed. Your own miracle is coming with your name inscribed on. I grew up hearing from my teachers, my friends, down so you can become anything, down so you are a failure, down so. So anytime I hear my name, I know what is coming. When they call me, I know. I was living like Jabez, who knew that the meaning of his name was pain. Till one day, the rejected boy, they saw me on the television. Ah, this is not Danso, this is not him. This cannot be that boy. Till they invited me to the school. As at this time, those teachers who didn't want to see me were on their knees and their hands were up and said, Danso, bless us. Bless us. Do you know who you will become if you change the way you think? Do you know who you will become if you change the way you see things? Do you know who you become if you begin to believe in God for everything you are going through because what you are going through does not destroy you, but it will rather make you. Amen. Today, when the school is reading their history and they want to make examples of people who have name, I never pass their exams. I never won any trophy. But when they are reading, if you go to the school, it says one young man came to school here. His name was called Kofi Danso. He is worthy. He is blessed. And they read all these things. But I never passed any of the exams before. Even including that, I even, when they insulted me to the point that I started eating my own school fees. I was paying myself. My mother would give me the money. I pay myself for my school fees because now you say that I cannot become. So why am I paying school fees for? So I ate my school fees. When my colleagues were at school, I was in the forest. I chose my, my own self, a class. I started attending my class. Do you know what the devil will do to you? The devil will make you attend your own class of difficulty, failure. Put in your mind that you are a failure. You try to do something, say, hey, don't do it. You are a failure. Your father failed, your mother failed, and believe you are going to fail. That was where they wanted to put me. But I knew that unless the Lord build a house, the builders build in vain. You can call me whatever you want to call me. My destiny is not in the hands of men. My destiny is in the hands of God. I trusted my God. And I believed in him that there was a future he had for me. Today, I'm very grateful to God. I said to you, in my school days, I never proposed in my life. I've never proposed to a woman before. I've never. I'm, I'm afraid to propose to a woman. 
I don't know how to start. I was telling them in the morning, I don't know these things they call romance, romantic nights, candle nights, nighty nights. I am just a raw man. Raw material, uncooked man. What you think it will please me, it never. It was difficult for me to talk to a woman and say, woman, I think I love you. I think I want to marry you. If you ask me how I did married my wife, ask her, it was a trouble. I gave her two weeks. I said, I want to marry now. Go think about it. Otherwise, I will change my mind. And she has only two weeks. Because I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to. And one day, let me tell the truth. One day, one day, one of my boys came to me and said, you know how to give a promise ring to a woman? Promise ring to a Promise ring. What is promise ring? It's when you go, you hide the ring in your tongue, and then romantic. Me, where I'm coming from, my father would throw the ring. Here, take it. But thank God I'm in the making, at least. I'm still at workshop. They are still teaching me how to become. It's very difficult, but I'm trying. I'm trying to be a romantic father. So because of where I have been in life, if I allowed those things to get into my mind, I would have been a failure by today. Can you imagine yourself that you were a failure to the point that, hey, listen, I didn't just appear on television. Okay? I didn't just become popular. I carried water on my head. You know Keshire? No, no, you don't know. I put here. And I carry it. And I was selling it. And in my mind, believe what will be coming in my mind. You were a failure. You are rejected. Your colleagues are doing well. You fail your exams. And I carry these things. From water to oranges. From oranges, I started doing change for taxi drivers. Queens. Hey, hey, come here. Give me... 20 chain, 20, 20. I like only one, 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 one or two, two. And I ran, sir, please, this is the money. And I chained for them. And imagine what will come in my mind. You were a failure. You are rejected. You can't become anything. So the day my father said to me, you are no more a son to me. I don't like you. Get out of my house. I walked out of the house. I didn't know where I was going. But I had to walk out. I had to wash dishes to eat. My father had it. My mother had it. But I can't eat from the house. Only because they found out that I wasn't going to school. How would you feel? If your father have rejected you, your mother rejected you, your students and your colleagues and teachers already rejected you and they told you what you become. It's not the vision of your enemies coming to pass. Are you somebody now? You are nothing. I found myself a small tent, a church, and at night I would jump the wall lie on the bench and sleep nobody knew that somebody was sleeping there the day I was caught I had to wash people's clothes that is my punishment but I was happy to wash it if only I would sleep again the next day what will come in your mind are you not a failure having to miss your target are you not manifesting what your friend said I've never read that time. I never knew that God says that he doesn't give you a problem that is beyond your ability. 
So all that I was going through, it wasn't that I am meant to be in. It's only because I didn't know the ability I have. If I knew the ability I have, I would have lifted up my voice and called on the Lord because the Bible said, and the poor man called on the Lord and the Lord delivered him. I am not delivered in my problem, not because I don't have money, because I'm ignorant. I don't know the power I possess. I respond to the name of people. I fought everybody who wants to fight me. But I never knew that I didn't have to respond to the name that doesn't belong to me. I only become what people say. You are a failure. Hey, I heard that you said I was a failure. Hey, I heard you are talking this. It's not my name. I've heard something about you. It's not your name, Koko Fidansu. I've said, what do you hear? I heard negative things. I said, no, Koko are many. That negative one belongs to another Koko so not me. I don't care what you believe in, but I believe that whatever I went through, God gave me the power Amen. to come out of it. Amen. You can come out of your situations. You can come out of your difficulties. You can come out of what you, are, you feel yourself being in. You are not what people say you are. A scripture that challenged my life, Joshua chapter 6. And the Lord said, go to the prostitute house. And there is a woman there. Bring that woman. The prostitute, go to her house. There is a woman in the prostitute house. Bring that woman. So we can be in another life that is a life, but it's not a person. Let me say it again. You can be in a lifestyle that is a lifestyle, but it's not you. You can stop smoking. It is a smoking life, but you can stop it and say, well, I don't want to get myself into that issue anymore. You can stop the sinful life and say, well, I've decided that I, got, I went through, but I wouldn't let it get into me. Pastor, I can't stop. No, there is nothing you say you stop, you can't stop. If you decide to stop, it's all in the mentality. You can see alcohol and say, I'm not drinking. I will get out of that because that is not my lifestyle. Where do you find yourself? No, I'm an angry kind of person. I'm a quick-tempered person. If you touch me, I will deal with you. No, I used to be angry, but I'm not anymore. That was my past. My now has changed. I'm a bitter woman. You know my situation. The reason why I'm I am who I am today and suffering with my baby is because of my baby's father. Listen, the reason why you have to change the result and the outcome is because whosoever hurts you will eventually meet you one day. But when they meet you, let them not have the power to look at your face. Let them look down. Joseph 37 verse 25 and he was sold Genesis 37 and they sold him and look at this this painful thing eh? when they took they took the food from him they sat down he has come all the way from the house passed through Dalton and have come to the place where the brothers were and the Bible said when he came there they said let's kill this man Let's kill him. He's useless. Let's kill him. Somebody who have carried food for you, you want to kill the person? They took the food from him. And then the Bible said, they sat down. As they sat down, they have already put him in the pit. A traveler who has not eaten, share the food with me before you kill me. No. They took the food, eating. Um, this guy, we have to kill him. Hmm? Please, Ruben, I'm thirsty. Give me water to drink. Can you leave me some of the food? Shut up there. Um, Ruben said, listen, um, don't let us kill him. He's our brother. We may need him tomorrow. Yet, they had a plan. So, right, let's take his garments and give to the father. Let's break the relationship between him and the father because the solid relationship he had with the father is what is affecting us. Listen, anybody coming after you is not coming after you. They are coming after the relationship between you and God. Yeah. 
Do you know why people bothered about the church you go? And why they want you to stop the church you go? Why they don't want you to go to church? Your boyfriend, your husband, your cousins, your relatives who are very close to you who are saying, it's my plan that you will not go to church anymore. You know why? Because they can't break your heart anymore because your heart is now for God. But if they can let you stop, your heart will be for them. And they kept on eating and eating whilst this guy was still in the pit. And the Bible said, they came people coming from Midianite. And the Bible said, they were Ishmaites. They took Joseph and bought him. And then Joseph went. And that was a story about Joseph. It ended with the brothers. They went home. We've killed him. He's not alive anymore. Dad, your son is dead. Who sent Joseph? We met his cloth here. We identified the cloth. We identified the very thing that makes your love fall into the sun. We have it here. See, your son is no more alive. The father wept bitterly. Wept and wept. The Bible said he could not console himself and comfort himself. Genesis chapter 50 verse 20. Many years later, Joseph said a word. He said, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. They meant it for evil. That was their plan for you. They thought that they have put in some poison that looks like a dynamite that will be rotting in your life and your life will be destroyed and you can't make it in life. They left you there dead. Give it to a stranger. Some of them have been given to strangers of failure, disappointment. I disappointed that girl. I, dis I, I disappointed. And some of them are so proud. I disappointed her. Look, look. I made them fire her. So she will lose her job and she can't take care of her rent and her mortgage will become a problem. I made it. I made it. Let's see what will become of her. Those are the wicked brothers. And today this is the world we are living in. We are living in a world of Hezekiah chapter 37, where dry bones are scattered. People are cut into pieces. Parts are dislocated. And men and Christians of today are very happy when somebody is going down. They celebrate when somebody is going down. When somebody cannot make it. Oh my God, I'm happy for her. The church is going down. The church is breaking. The pastor is confused. He can't preach anymore. He is so confused. The house is confused. He's disorganized. I made it. I did it. I was speaking to one pastor. And the pastor said something. So there was a pastor in town. I made sure that the pastor would not stand. Mm. Okay. You are so powerful. Okay. You don't know that you are setting yourself a trap. All those who have hurt you, disappointed you, it was a set up for your greatness. Genesis 45, the Bible said, and Joseph revealed himself to his brothers. And the Bible said he could not hold it anymore. He couldn't hold it. It was too difficult for him to hold it. So he came to a place and he said, listen, I will tell my brothers who I am. He will be speaking with them and he would turn his back and cry and come back and say, hey, you, you said you are Reuben. You said you are Judah. Wow. Are you guys enjoying the food? The Bible said he went back again and came back and said, listen, my brothers, I have Egyptian accent. I look Egyptian. I, I walk like Egyptian. I dress like Egyptian. But I am a Hebrew. I am the Joseph that you sold. I am him. What you meant for evil, you meant me in my dress tone. Took my garment. Do you see the garment on me now? I'm not only minister who keeps food here. I am the father of Pharaoh. I was your last brother. But when you sold me out, I became a father. I was your last brother, but when you sold me out into a foreign land, I became 
a father. If that man didn't sell you out with one child, you wouldn't have become a wife. If that company didn't fold you down, you didn't have become a manager of another company. They meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Change the results. Change the results. Joseph would have stayed in Potiphar's house and have anger in his heart and keep on cursing his brothers, these brothers, these brothers. If not my brothers, I wouldn't have been here. If not my brothers, my father loved me. I ate good food, proper food. Look at where I am today. I'm a slave. No. Whatever you did to me, the chapter is closed. You hurt me, thank God. It was a hurt to you, but it was a help to me. You disappointed me, it was a disappointment to you, but it's an appointment to me. You think you failed me, it was a failure to you, but it was a success to me. I would change every result in the place you put me. My prayer for you today is that everything that anybody has said, done against you, purposely to pull you down and to destroy you, my prayer is that you have the ability and the grace to change the results to a better result. Yes. They will see you tomorrow. They can't identify you. You have to go and show them your old picture. You remember me? I was staying at this house, this neighborhood. Were you not staying at this street before? I was the one. How come? Till today, a lot of my friends who we've ate before comes on Facebook and say, you look like one of our colleagues in school. His name was called Martin Afajato. I actually don't call me that name. Otherwise, I'll have a problem with you. That was my school name because why? I didn't know book and I eat mountain food. And there is one mountain called Mountain Afajato. So they call me Martin Afajato. Say, you look like one guy called Mountain Afajato. And I'll tell them, I am the one. He said, I don't believe you. I want to see you on Skype. I want to see. Can I have your number to call you now? Because nobody believed that today I'll be somewhere. And look at today, I'm in a foreign land. Blessed with wife, with my kid, with a church and a family just like you. You can become whatever you want to become. You can change the results. When you want to place you in life, you can change the results. Whatever they said you are, you can change the results. Whatever you feel, you can still change the results. Change the outcome. Don't let your landlord meet you outside and ask you, where do you live now? And you are telling your landlord, you know, since you kicked me out of your house, I'm living with a friend. No. He asks you, where do you live now? Oh, I have my own house. Thank you for kicking me out. Thank you for doing that to me because I needed it. I was so comfortable with somebody's property. How is the church doing now? Thank you for leaving me. Because I lean on your ability, not knowing that he has given me ability to become. Thank you. Sometimes we have to thank God for one person who caused a problem. Because through one man's problem, the Bible said, through one man's sin, all came, became sinners. And through one man's righteousness, all got saved. Through one person's problem, you identify all the fake lovers. I'm with you, Pastor. I'm praying for you. I'm standing with you. I don't care what happened to you. But God will use one person as an escape goat. And all of a sudden, you identify the wrong voices around you. If you hadn't go through what you went through, you would think everybody was with you. It is when you finish it, he polish you and put you up there. And when those who look down on you see you, they will look up. Change the results. Prophet, healing has taken place for her daughter. Over 26 years, she's going to have to say this name. It's one of those long names. What is that sickness called? Endometriosis. Endo who? It is bleeding. Bleeding. Endometriosis. For 26 years, uh -huh. she has just received healing. 26, 26 years. 26 years. 26. Mama, come, 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 come. 
26 years of constant bleeding. The longest story in the Bible was 12 years. 12 years. What did Jesus say? He said, if you believe in me, greater works will you do. If he healed somebody for 12 years, he has given us the power to heal the one in 26 years. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his whole. If you are believing God for a miracle, I'm trusting God for you right now. The Bible says to another, it's given the spirit of faith. Faith is a spirit. And to another, the spirit of healing. And to another, the spirit of working miracles. Miracles can be worked out. Today, wherever you are sick, lay your hand on, on the television set. And let's believe God for your own miracle right now. There is somebody with eye problem. This, your right eye, has been a lot of waters. You cannot, you cannot even sleep at night. God is healing you right now. A mother with a chronic pain at your waist. When you gave birth to your, your second born, there was a pain you had in birth. And that thing has still be there. But the Lord is taking it right away in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There is somebody by name, Jakes. Jakes, God is touching you right now. God is bringing transformation in your life right now. Receive the divine healing in Jesus' name. Listen to me. 92 people are watching this program now. And the Lord is speaking to me that there is an anointing he is depositing on you. You are going to be on fire for the Lord and you are going to start to do the work of God like never before. Receive that touch of the Holy Ghost. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Be transformed. Be healed. Be transformed now. In the name of Jesus. Friends, I want you to just visit Miracle Arena at 20 Mill Van Drive off Fange and Western Road. Come and experience God's awesome power. It will be wonders, signs, and miracles. You can call the number right now. Our team are ready to pray with you. And as I'm speaking to you, we have live service coming Tuesday, 7 p.m. and Friday, um, 10 p.m. And Thursday morning, there is a service financial service. If you have any problem, come into our Thursday service. And Sunday morning, 10 a.m. and Sunday evening, 5 p.m. Come and receive God's word. We want to pray for you right now. We want to pray for you. We want to stand in a gap for you. 25 years of bleeding just got healed. How old is your problem? I am serving the God of possibilities. He's done it before and he's about to do it for you. May God bless you. I love you and I want to hear from you. May God bless you, keep you, send me an email, tell me your praise report, tell me your prayer request. Thank you for supporting us. May God keep you, shalom, peace, and life to you. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you were blessed. For prayers and the prophetic word, or to order our CD, DVD, and books, please call one 800 Eight zero seven seven six one seven. Help us to take the gospel of our Lord to the nations of the world, winning the lost one soul at a time. If you would like to sow a seed into this ministry, or if you wish to become a monthly partner, please call one eight zero zero eight zero seven seven six one seven, or log on to the website for more information at miraclearena.ca Experience life transforming messages from Reverend Joan Danso and Prophet Kofi Danso, Senior Pastor and Apostle of Strategic Prayer an Ambassador of Hope and a Prophet to the Nations a man sent from God, by God and with God. Experience our miracle services every Sunday 10.30am and evening service 5pm, Tuesday 7pm, Earth Shakers Miracle All Night, every Friday 10pm, Venue 20 Milvan Drive, Toronto, Ontario Major Intersection, Finch and Milvan. Contact us on 647-893-9232 or MiracleArena1 at yahoo.ca or www.miraclearena.ca